Well, Richard, so many people in greyhound racing have a rich family history in the sport, uh, particularly for you with the derby. I mean, many competitions, but with the derby, your granddad and your dad both won it. Tell me what you remember about that. Let's start with your granddad, 1976. Um, I can remember we had two in the final, uh, a pup called Xmas Holiday that was bred at home. He was in the final of Mutt Silver, and I can remember we was at home and it was actually on the radio. And I remember us all shouting around the radio, obviously because I was only 10, but I can remember that's clear as a bell. And we were shouting the one that was bred at home and then realised that the other one had won, you know what I mean? So it was good, it was good. So just as a kid, you got your first sort of yeah. taste of Derby yeah. success. Then we go to 1985 when your, your dad won. Yeah. Um, the night was raining, I can remember that, as clear as a bell. Um, it's just, you, you're an outsider, big price, and all I can remember was him going round the bend, round the first bend, closer than he's ever gone round. And um, they cut the, the two in front come together at the third bend, and he swooped round the outside to win, and it was like, it's just the well factor, you know what I mean? You can't explain it. It's going to be a blanket finish, but no, it's Pagan Swallow who gets up at the end. So your derby ambitions must have always been there, have they? Yeah, I think I think every trainer's ambition is to have a derby dog or to run in the derby. But, yeah, I mean, I take a lot of stick, as you can imagine, um, saying that it's going to skip a generation and go to the Charlie or whatever the case may be. But, listen, just to have a runner in it, it's brilliant. It's brilliant. What does it mean to you to, to have a dog that really could make the final, really could go on to win the derby, the UK's leading contender in the Greyhound derby? Oh, it, oh it's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. It's... it's, it's, it's um, how can you put it? You dream of it. It's there, but you don't want to get yourself carried away with it. So, you know what I mean? Like me, I take everything one day at a time, one round at a time. All I'm thinking about is Saturday and trap five and one thing and another and fingers crossed sort of thing. Everything you've learnt from your family over the years, your, your granddad and your dad would be pretty proud, wouldn't they? I would like to think so, yeah. I would like to think so. We were good. I think they would. Oh, yeah, they would be proud. They would.